G'day guys and uh, welcome to another little automotive video clip on my channel. Now, over a month ago I replaced all the six spark plugs and I still had the VSC signal turned on again and I felt a slight shudder. So what I did was I took it to Toyota and they got it scanned and apparently cylinders two, four and six are flaring up that light. So technically what it is, it's these coils here. They've got two, four, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you identify it. So I need to replace all three of these coils. Now these front coils are a lot easier to replace than the rear ones. So I'm glad it's just these three. So I'm going to replace them and let's see how it all goes. So we disconnect the connectors. Get a 10 mil socket there, undo that, pull out the coil, put a new one in, and job's done. Make sure you don't lose the screw. And all it is is just pulling it out like that. I've got new coils and pretty much the same system. Just putting it back in the way you took it out. Whilst you got all the coils out, just as a precaution, get a 16mm socket and make sure that the sparks are nice and tight, they're not loose. And um, that's just as a precaution, they all seem to look, feel tight. Okay, they're tight, and now we're going to put the new coils in. Here is the new coil, we'll put it on cylinder two. She's in. What I've done was I put some tape, um, electrical tape, to keep the connection to the coils more firmly because the actual clip over time that snapped off. And if I'm going, let's just say 100 kilometers an hour on the highway and I'm going somewhere where it's rough, usually that will move and it will disconnect from the actual coil. So just as a peace of mind, I put tape like that around it so it gives it more stability. I've got all my three coils, new ones installed for cylinder two, four, six. As you can see, maybe not from the sun, but see they use zip ties. Toyota uses zip ties to connect the connection and secure it onto my old coils, which clearly did nothing. So the tape's nice there. Everything's nice and strong, nothing loose. Let's see if this works. Now, I've disconnected the negative portal to the battery. Right. Um, just to sort of reset it and then see if that will um, work out. Don't know on that one, but we'll see. Fixed it, fixed the problem, and the VSC is not popping up. Usually, if it was to happen again, then um, the engine light will pop up and the VSC light will pop up again. So, this time I'm really happy with it. Happy with the job. So, I'm glad that I fixed the problem and lessons learnt was as soon as you get the VSC or VST light pop up get your car scanned so you know exactly what's um, caused the light to pop up at the first place most likely 70% of the chances it will be a spark 
and also your coils. So if you replace your spark plugs, it's best to replace the coils at the same time. It's never one or the other, it's always both. And that's just adding more peace of mind. So if you've got any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment in the Orion Groups page in Facebook. And um, hopefully that this video helps you out a bit and um, gets you to resolve a minor issue. I do know and I have noticed that with faulty coils, uh, what will generally happen is your car will lose compression. So it won't be as quick or responsive on the accelerator pe the pedal. So if you're experiencing that, especially high, high fuel consumption, then um, it's the coils that need to be replaced and you'll be surprised how quickly um, your car will perform really well once you've um, installed all new coils. Till next time guys, happy Easter and um, yeah, stay safe.